Hey, welcome back to The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. Our next conversation is about the big issue right now, the ongoing strike between the Association of Resident Doctors in Nigeria as well as the federal government. Now, we know that, you know, NARD began their strike a couple of days ago. I think that was April 1st on Thursday. And, you know, they're insisting that lots of their demands have not been met. Resident doctors are being paid a mega, you know, hazard allowance of 5,000 naira. They're saying that compensation for uh, doctors who died of coronavirus have not been paid. They're saying that they work under very, you know, terrible conditions. You know, some doctors have to use their phone flashlights to carry out operations and surgeries. So they listed all their demands and uh, we've seen a response from the federal government. The Minister of Labor and Employment, Senator Chris Ingege, says that the federal government has met 100% all the demands of NAD and that uh, NAD's request, you know, is being made in error and that it's being made ignorantly. He made lots of allegations. He said NAD president simply wanted to go down history as one of the presidents of NAD that led a protest. I don't know what that means, but he insists that, you know, he's paid and they've implemented all the, you know, doctors demands 100%. He's saying that both parties signed an MOU after a negotiation for eight hours and that, you know, NAD had no right to then, you know, renege after they had that agreement. He also went on to say that, it was untrue that doctors in Nigeria are not insured and that the federal government spent 13.3 billion naira in 2020 on group life insurance, uh, not just for doctors and health workers alone, but for all workers and, you know, federal, civil and public servants. He mentioned the Employee Compensation Act and said that if doctors are claiming not to have gotten compensation, you know, after, like, that's if the family is claiming not to have gotten compensation if a doctor, you know, family member had passed on, it's because they failed to make a claim that, you know, they have been insured and that they should go to the federal government and make a claim and they would get their, you know, compensation. So he basically said a lot of things that seemed quite, you know, different from the stance of NAD so far, you know, still talking about, you know, his stance on, uh, Resident doctors, and you, you know, mentioned that resident doctors in developed countries don't get paid, and in fact, they pay hospitals. But we found that resident doctors in the United States are paid between fifty-three thousand dollars and sixty-nine thousand dollars, and uh, we're just seeing, you know, just conflicting information here between what seems to be facts what, yeah. and what Ingege said, and what Ingege said, and what NAD, you know, are standing on at the moment. So that's basically, you know, is where we are, the government's response to the NAD strike. Oh, well, um, you know, I've always been critical about how the Nigerian government responds to um, uh, things like this. Um, there would always be different, you know, narratives. There's always going to be people who have their own facts um, and their own, um, you know, perspectives. The National Association of Resident Doctors has made their own claims that the government has not um, you know, fulfilled their promises and uh, the agreements that were signed um, have also have been ignored. The government you know, cannot necessarily 100% you know, say that yes, they have uh, gone, you know, uh, uh, fulfilled all the promises that were made. Um, but it's also very important to you know, speak about the relevance of what the NARD is uh, fighting for. Do doctors deserve to be paid higher hazard allowance? I would say yes. Do they also deserve uh, to have better working environment and, and, and equipment for their work? Obviously, yes, also. Um, how much will it really cost the Nigerian government if, we, if they were to uh, prove some of these demands, if they were going to go through some of these demands? I don't think it would cost so much. Um, you know, but how does the Nigerian government respond at a time like this is very, very important because the life of every Nigerian that you know, goes to the hospital is, it should be top priority to the Nigerian government. And everybody who, for any reason or, or you know, the other, loses their life because of the um, um, you know, lack of doctors in the system, somebody needs to be blamed for that. Um, and so how will the Nigerian government respond? Will it respond with the minister um, threatening you know, the NARD? Will it res respond with the DSS? According to the president of the National Association of Resident Doctors yesterday when we spoke with him, he said that they were getting threats uh, from the DSS and from the police. And so will that be the Nigerian government's response to something like this? Their or response will, uh, is, is basically denial. Ingege has said that 
what NARD is saying is untrue and that they have implemented the you know, terms of the MOU that they signed completely. He said they signed this MOU on March 31st, Wednesday, March 31st, 2021, and that everything there has been implemented 100%. So we really then wonder, where is the conflict? If the federal government is saying that everything the doctors asked for, they have implemented this 100%, but not insist that, you know, that's not true. So, Where then is the misinformation? So are they, is the minister then saying that doctors or nurses and doctors currently receive more than 5,000 naira hazard allowance? Good question. I have, I have no idea because I, I didn't see his thoughts on the hazard allowance. He just went on talking about compensation, Employees' Compensation Act, you know, pay for resident doctors, you know. But definitely so, the fact that... So aside, I mean, when, when anybody can make a statement like that, the resident doctors can also you know, put out their own statements and say that they've not been paid in the last four months. That's what they've said, or that's their claim. The minister can also say, well, we've been paying you guys for the last four months. We even paid you, you know, extra bonus for Easter. Um, we even sent out bags of rice and chicken to all doctors uh, during Easter. But there has to be some way that these things can be verified. There has to be a way that some of these claims can be verified on both sides. If the doctors say, we're going to strike what we haven't been paid in the last four months, there's ways that this thing, these things can be verified. Um, our hazard allowance is still 5,000 naira. It can be very, very easily verified. And so the longer there is this back and forth, um, I would also understand where the doctors say, well, we don't think we want to go back to the negotiating table because um, there's a lack of trust between the doctors and the government. Um, there's a lack of trust between Nigerians generally and, of course, even ASU. Uh, the uh, legislative workers are about to go on strike also. There's always been a memorandum of, of understanding signed. There's always been agreement signed many, many, many years ago that eventually somehow do not, you know, um, get fulfilled. And so, you know, you wouldn't be shocked when they say we don't want to go back to the negotiating table. What really I'm concerned about is the people who have to suffer for this. The patients in the hospital, the, you know, accident victims, those who are suffering from terminal um, ailments, those who are um, about to give birth, you know, and of course they're going through antenatal um, um, uh, care at the moment. Everyone who has to suffer for a lack of, uh, you know, health uh, professionals in the hospitals because of this strike. And so it's, it's, it's not, it shouldn't take that long for both sides to come to, you know, an agreement because of the most important thing, and that is the Nigerian life. Indeed, and uh, we, we tried to get uh, Chris Ngigi and uh, Festo Schiamo, uh, you know, just to tell us the government's perspective on this and to answer questions on if indeed they have paid you know the gov the, the the resident doctors their due and what they're asking for but uh we couldn't get them on you know but basically what we have is the statements that they've put out basically saying that they have you know substantially met the demands of you know the national association of resident doctors but the strike is still on and uh, trust us to bring you updates as we go Absolutely. Stay with us. Our next conversation is, uh, of course, with regards uh, Pastor Tunde Bakari and his uh, State of the Nation address on Sunday. We're going to be joined by Ademi Saka to have his um, views on, on that um, uh, State of the Nation address. And that comes up right after the short break.